I didn't set out to raise a skinhead. It just happened. Okay, it didn't just happen. Like most parents, my husband and I had the best of intentions, planning to instill good manners, respect, decency, and kindness into both of our children. I thought we'd done a fairly good job. But when your last thought before going to sleep is, will my daughter commit an act of violence against another human being? You know you've missed something along the way. I always felt at a place in my youth. I was never comfortable in my own skin. I was 16 when my dad passed away after a nine year battle with cancer. He was my best friend. And after his death, I was left with this huge void. I took to binge drinking a few months after his passing, but eventually that wasn't enough. The heavy metal music scene's energy and aggression really resonated with me at this time. In early November 2007, I was on Nocturnal Mortem's Facebook page when I received a message from a guy named Donnie. He was part of a resistance movement fighting to ensure <clears throat> that the white population survived. The start of my disengagement came in 2012 after another member was murdered, stabbed to death. This is where I began questioning this victim complex of ours. Who was really making our lives miserable, them or us? From any of the research that I've read about or even participated in, Canada actually has one of the largest online extremist presences. 